What about the doll that's in there? Annabelle, she's in a case for a reason. This is part of the Conjuring universe of stories. And I saw that you are also credited as a writer along with James Wan. So I want to know what the process was to develop those stories, considering the other Conjuring usually dealt with based on a true story. Mm -hmm. And I'm not quite sure this one is. There are a few scares or case files in here that are true, uh, or that did happen to the, to the Warrens. So it's not entirely all fabricated. Yeah, and then just working with James from the start, one, he had the idea of, I want to bring the doll home and put it in the artifact room, and, I, and let's see what happens when it engages with the other artifacts, which I just found really creatively inspiring. Did your parents keep any creepy stuff around? You can keep it all locked away in a room. It's not good for anyone to go in there. I don't like the monkey. And the monkey's um, just really creepy. Yeah, the way that his lip goes up and it's like, yeah. And he just smiles at you and that little accordion. And you're just, no, <laughs> he is pretty terrifying. I think the toys in general are terrifying. There was like little doll heads and stuff. and Because even when you like first see the wedding dress in the film, you're like, all right, what's happening with that? You and know. It's some... even worse than you expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know there's something coming. You're like, yeah, you know some, some stuff's about to go down. The thing is <laughs> creepy. I wanted to find out how you guys started to delve into like these scary stories and who or what was the one that brought you in. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. My dad. Mm. Your dad? Go for it. He, him and I, we've been watching um, horror movies since I was seven. It's, it's our tradition. I was always interested in this stuff. I mean, horror movies freak me out, but I, I didn't talk about this and my mom's gonna kill me for it. But she <laughs> caught me one time when I was little and I was doing, I was trying to do some, probably a love spell, I was boy crazy. Some love spell or something. She found the paper and she made me sit down because I come from a very Catholic family. I'm no longer Catholic, but whatever. Um, she made me sit down and watch a documentary on like real life witches and they were talking about how they kill babies and all this stuff. Like Whoa. traumatized me into never wanting to <laughs> do it again until I was older. Um, and oh. then I like bought an intention candle and I, oh my God. it's fun, but I've always been fascinated in it, clearly. Yeah. I just, I always loved horror movies. Um, when I was younger too, me and my friends, we would recreate, well, try. Um, <laughs> Those are so no. good. Um, we, there's a bunch of like short versions of a different- a secret YouTube account. <laughs> horror movies and like, um, and basically we, just all of my friends would catch up and Fake killing. It was. It was actually. They're really. They're really bad. But. Every single time you'd fall down the stairs, and every single one. Now, as a horror director, what are the key factors you think are important in horror films today? The reason why I think horror works is because there is no tried and true method. I think it's very. Exper I think you can experiment within the genre and stumble. You know, and stumble upon something super commercial that wasn't there before. I think. I think you can take bolder risks in horror, which I think is excites a excites a movie audience, but you know, I think one of the reasons why people love going to the theater for horror movies is because it's a very communal experience too. It's so great to share this experience with people who, you know, they're 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 laughing or they're scared in the in the next aisle over from you and it's a bunch of strangers, but you guys are all sort of connected by the same thing or all scared by the same thing. I think it's something you don't get a lot of times when you're at the theater. Did anything eerie happen on set? Because I interviewed like Patrick and Vera for The Conjuring too, and they had a bunch of stories to tell me. So anything happen on this set or was it pretty tame? We had some weird stories. Um, there was like one time in particular af after we were filming a scene downstairs and at the end of the scene we'd run up the stairs and go past the Warren's bedroom and every time we ran past the door Annabelle was in a different position and there was not enough time for someone to go up there and move the doll. So. <laughs> We don't know how that happened. She would be either in the rocking chair or sitting on the bed or, yeah. 